guys, welcome back. Today's video is an exciting one. We are going to be trying out the new bite size face palettes from e.l.f. I'm so pumped about these. I saw that e.l.f. was releasing these and I just got so excited. I love the bite size e.l.f. eyeshadow palettes. I have one in my eyes today. And I really love how quickly they came out with these because sometimes when we find a product that we love, I feel like it takes forever for them to kind of add on to that. And I feel like it hasn't been that long since the Bite Size Eyeshadow Palettes kind of came into the scene. So I'm excited to see these face palettes. I have all eight of them here to swatch for you guys. We're gonna try them out on the face. We're gonna see what we think. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so I did purchase these from elfcosmetics.com. I will have them linked down below in case you are interested. And these were $3 a piece, just like the eyeshadow palettes. And they are super cute. They're the same exact size compact, and they just have two colors in them. So some of them have blushes and highlights, and then there's a few of them that actually have like a bronzer shade and a highlight in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys those. I am really sad because one of them actually came quite, oops, I'm like, literally dipping this out. This one came broken. This one is in coconut and I think this was one of the bronzer ones. So I am kind of bummed about that, that it did come so broken. I'll just have to reach out to Elf. I'm sure they'll give me a new one, but I am going to still try to swatch all eight of them just so you guys can still get a swatch of this one. I'm trying to open it now to see if it's like completely broken. So it's really just the highlight that's broken. I feel like I can get used. I don't know if you guys can even really see, but I feel like I can get used out of the bronzer still. I'll kind of just push over everything and then see if I can't just show you guys swatches of everything still because I still feel like I'll be able to use the bronzer side. So to kind of compare, this is the one that I used on my eyes today. It's the Rosewater palette. So they are the exact same size here as far as the compact goes. And um, like I said, I just love these. I have this one and then I also have the purple palette and I love both of them. I actually thought about getting a couple more because I just think they're so easy to use. So let's go ahead and I think I'm gonna start with swatching all of them and then we'll kind of try them out on the face. I wanna make note of this because how nice it is that it has like this little peel thing right here to where you can peel up. And then the like little sticker comes right off. Sometimes with drugstore products, I feel like getting the actual packaging off is such a process. So I do appreciate that they make it so easy with kind of like the peel up and then it just comes off so easy. That is definitely a plus for me because sometimes like Wet n Wild in particular has the worst packaging when it comes to trying to get those stickers off. It's awful. Okay, so the first one I have swatched right here is called White Peach. All right, and the next duo, this one here is Watermelon. The next one here is guava. Okay, and this one here is pomegranate. Okay, and then we have leche right here. All right, this one here is spiced apple. This one right here is cantaloupe. Okay, and the last swatch right here is the coconut palette. So this one I can't show up because it is broken, but we have like the bronzer and then the highlight there. So far, so like with swatches, I feel like they swatch really nicely. We do have some matte ones. Like I didn't know um, what to expect because I didn't really read much on the description. I just kind of threw them in my cart. But some of these like blushes in here are matte and then other ones are shimmer. So that's kind of fun that they included like two different formulas. Based upon swatches of that highlight, they look really wet. So, like they're gonna be really pretty on the skin. So I'm I'm really excited to go ahead and start trying some of these out. Obviously, I can't test them all out on the face, but I am going to show you guys quite a few of them so we can see kind of how they perform. So I do want to try out the bronzer shade from the Coconut Palette just because um, that one is like one that I feel like I could use as a bronzer. Unfortunately, it is broken, so I am not going to be able to pick it up for you guys, but I am going to just grab a little bit. And it did seem pretty pigmented, so I am going to just kind of tap off my brush here. I'm just using this angled brush from Sigma. It's their large angled contour. And I am just gonna start to tap this onto the face here. And this shade had a tiny, tiny bit of reflect in it, but it wasn't anything intense, like nothing that's gonna be like glittery or anything on your face. So I'm kind of just buffing this into the skin. It's a little bit deeper than I normally do for like a bronzer. It has more of like a reddish tint to it, but I don't think it's like a bad color for me. I prefer something a little bit warmer, but that's kind of what's great about this is that they did come out with eight different colors. So you can definitely find one that kind of matches your preference. And I wonder if these do work out well, if they'll end up coming out with more of them because I think they did um, a second launch of the bite size palettes. I want to say there was like a few colorful ones, maybe not, but I definitely think they are going to come out with more of those consider how much people like them. So here is what it looks like on the skin. It seems to be blending out pretty nicely. I don't think it looks like patchy or anything like that. And I did go ahead and use 
um, my Maybelline. This is the Dream Radiant foundation that I have, and I actually have that Becca Zero foundation on as my primer, and it works really well as a primer. Just so you guys know, I know I did that review. A lot of you were asking my thoughts if I would try it as a primer, so I did like it under my skin. It looks really nice under the foundation. So these actually blended out really nicely as a bronzer. I really like how that's looking. I'm going to put a little bit on my forehead. I'm not going to go anything crazy because these are a little bit more red tone than I prefer, but I'm going to kind of just pounce this out. But so far, like that doesn't look, to me, it doesn't look patchy at all. Like those are really nice. I'm so excited about these, you guys. I love affordable makeup. I love drugstore makeup. I love finding like great products for affordable prices. And the fact that these are like $3 it just has me so excited. So let's go ahead and try out some of the blushes. I want to try out like two of them, I think. So I love a good orangey blush, so I want to try this one out first. So this one is part of the cantaloupe. This one has the highlight and then like this orangey blush. And I want to try this one just because I feel like I could layer this underneath something else. So we are going to try this one first. And I'm hoping these aren't like too, yeah, they're my kind of formula. Like they're not too intense, at least with that one. Like, I feel like you could definitely build it up, which is what I like in a blush. I don't like it to be too pigmented right away to where you, like, kind of go crazy. I like it to where you can kind of just build it up. And I like that color. Um, and you can kind of just, you know, get it as you want. Like, if you want a lot, you can add a lot. If you want a little, you can add a little. So I think the next shade I'm going to try is this one in this palette. This is called the Watermelon one. And that one right there, that blush, I want to try this color because I think this color is also really pretty. It's kind of like a nude rose color. So I'm going to try this one on top of the other one and see. Wow. Okay. That's pretty as well. This one has a little bit more glow to it than the last one. The last one was a matte blush. This one has a little bit of a shine to it. It's actually layering pretty nicely over top of the other blush as well. But it doesn't look like too intense or too pigmented. And I like dipped my brush and I didn't tap it off really with this first one or with the second shade, and put a little bit on my nose right here. I really like that. Okay, cool, I am excited. Now let's try out the highlights. This is what I'm most excited about because I love, 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 love the tones of these highlights. There's so many of them, I like don't even know which one I want to try. Which one should I try? Um, I'm very curious because a lot of these do look like a little bit deeper in the pan than I think that they swatch. So I think that has me like kind of thrown off a little bit. A lot of them look pretty deep, but they aren't. So I'm going to try this one. This is the white peach. So let's go ahead and try that one here. And they do have a little bit of kickback in the pan. The highlights do, but nothing too intense. So let's go ahead and see. Wow. All right. That is pretty pigmented. Rowan's doing his little screaming thing in there that he likes to do so much when he's excited. So, okay, I'm going to look at it, like, up close here. They definitely look pigmented. Like, they look nice. I don't think it looks too glittery looking at it on my face. Like, I don't think it looks too, um, too glittery. Sometimes with the drugstore highlights in particular, I feel like they look, like, chunky almost on the skin, but I don't see that with this one. Like, it looks pretty, pretty good. Okay, so let's layer up. I'm going to try another one. So I'm going to try the other one in this cantaloupe palette because this one looks really nice. It's like a more of an icy color. Let's go ahead and add this one here just on. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that one is blinding. Holy moly. Okay. I kind of thought it would be because it's a little bit more of one of those like icy shades. Put a little bit of that one on my nose. A little bit up here. Oh, my gosh. That shade is so pretty. I like that one. Okay, I do want to try. There is a shade in this one that I was looking at, and I was like, let me try that one. So this one is the, the um, Spiced Apple Palette. This shade right down here, I think would work for me as like a bronzer topper instead of a highlight. So I want to try it as that. So I'm going to take a little bit of my brush in there, tap it off, and just try to kind of do a little bit as a bronzer topper underneath just to add a little bit more glow. Wow, I cannot believe how good these look. Like, this is a $3 palette. I kind of knew. I kind of knew, like, I was going to like these. I kind of had a feeling. I just had a feeling. I love these little bite size so much that I'm like, I'm going to like these. I know it. I could tell by the pictures. I could tell when I swatched them, and I really think that these are good. I'm so excited to try the rest of them and, like, actually try the duos together. Um, 
I think that these are going to be a new top favorite for a lot of people. I think they're going to be just like the bite size palettes because these are good. Like these are really good. My cheeks look so nice. Like you would not be able to tell that these are $3 palettes in my opinion. All right, I think that's gonna do it. I'm gonna go ahead and add a lip on really quickly just to finish this look off. All right, if you are curious on this lip combo, I'll have it down in the description box, but oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited about these. I'm loving how glowy my skin is looking right now. It doesn't look, in, like when I'm looking at it, I don't know if it's gonna pick up different on camera, but like in my mirror, it doesn't look textured at all. They blended really smoothly. I'm just so excited about these. Again, $3, you cannot beat that. Um, I will have them linked down below. I, at this time that I'm filming this, could only find them at Elf's website, so I'll have them linked down, down below on there. I'm not sure when they're coming to stores, but you guys will have to let me know if you are excited about these, if you're planning on getting one of them. If you are not already subscribed, I would love it if you would do so, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, friends.